guys hi guys welcome back to my channel this is the sewing part of this video i've used the pattern to cut out the main fabric and the lining this is the color i cut it on food i added half in seam allowance i have two of these one with interfacing and one without interfacing This is the right side, right side together. So this is the side that I will stitch to the neckline. So I will stitch this together using half inch seam allowance. After that, I will notch and turn it to the right side and give it a good press. This is the side back. I used the pattern to cut out the main fabric. This is the main fabric. I added one in seam allowance. No seam allowance on this side because seam allowance is already on the pattern. On this side, I added half in seam allowance. So, this is the pattern. I used the pattern to cut out the lining. I marked half inch. You will trim the after cutting the main fabric, you will trim this half inch off or you will fold it in. Or you will fold it in and use it to cut out your lining. This is the lining. I have two lining and two main fabric. This is the center back. I use the pattern to cut out the main fabric and the lining. I added half inch seam allowance. On this side, I added one inch seam allowance, one inch. The main fabric is one inch longer than the pattern. To cut out the lining, I marked half inch. I'll cut off this half inch or fold it in to cut out the lining. The lining is half inch shorter than the pattern. And the main fabric is one inch longer than the pattern. I have two of this. Two of the main fabric and two lining. This is for the back. This is the two center back and the two side back. So what I'll do, this is right side of the fabric. I'll put it this way, right side together and stitch the center back. After that, I'll put it this way again and put this on it, right side together. And stitch it. I will do the same on this side, right side together. I will stitch it also. After that, I will give it a good press. I will do the same on the lining. This is the side front. I use the pattern to cut out the main fabric. I added seam allowance, half inch. At the lower part here, I added one inch seam allowance. The main fabric is one inch longer than the pattern. I also cut the lining. I marked half inch. You will fold it in or you will trim it off after cutting the main fabric. Then you will use it to cut out your lining. The lining is half inch shorter than the pattern. And the main fabric is one inch longer than the pattern. I have two of this and also two lining. This is center front. I have four of this. Two for the main fabric and two for the lining. The lining is the facing. I have interfacing on the facing. No interfacing on this. I added one inch seam allowance on this side. Half inch seam allowance. One inch seam allowance. The main fabric is one inch longer than the pattern. The facing is half inch, half inch shorter, half inch shorter than the pattern. This is one of the center front. This is one of the side front. I will stitch it together. After that, I'll give it a good press. I will do the same on this. And also on the lining. On the lining, 
I'll stitch lining and the facing. This is facing one part of the center front facing. Right side together. I'll stitch it. I'll do the same on this. I've stitched the color together. I notch it and turn it to the right side and give it a good press. This is for the back. I've stitched it together. I also press it. You will open the seam and press. I did the same on the lining. This is for the front. I've joined the side front and center front together. I also press it. The main fabric. I press it. I did the same on the lining. What I'll do next is to join the front and the back together. This is for the back. This is the right side. This is for the front. Right side together. I will join it together at the shoulder line with half in seam allowance. I will do the same on this. I will also do the same on the lining. I've joined the front and the back together at the shoulder line. I also press it. I did the same on the lining. So what I'll do next is to stitch the two sides. I'm going to stitch it on one inseam allowance. I'll do the same on this side and also on the lining. I've stitched the side together using one inseam allowance. On the waistline here, you will notch it. So after that, you will give it a good press. I did the same on the lining. What I'll do next is to fix the sleeve. This is the sleeve. It's basic sleeve. I have video on how to make this basic sleeve. I also have video on how to make two-piece sleeve, coat sleeve, jacket sleeve. I'll put the link in the description. If you like, you can use this basic sleeve or two-piece sleeve. But this video is more of a beginner's friendly. I'll use this. This is the right side of the sleeve. I'll mark the seam allowance. Also the seam allowance on this side, I'll connect it and sew on it. I'll do the same on the other sleeve and also the lining. So after stitching it, it will be like this. You will give it a good press. This is the midpoint. You will notch it. So I'm going to fix it. This is the right side of the sleeve. This is the wrong side of this fabric. I'll put this sleeve inside. This is the shoulder seam. This is the shoulder seam. I'll pin it. Right side together. I'll pin it and stitch it with half inch seam allowance. I'll do the same on the lining. I'll fix the sleeve. I did the same on the lining. What I'll do next is to fix the collar. I have lightweight interfacing on one side. Very lightweight interfacing, the fabric one, on one side. So, you will fold it this way and get the midpoint and notch it.
you will not your center front line on the fabric I just pin this on the fabric to show you what I mean this is the center front line this you will notch the center front line after adding some allowance on the fabric you just notch it a little bit so that it will be easier when you fix the color so what I'm going to do now is to fix the color so this is the right side of the fabric I'll fix the color So this side, the side without interfacing, the midpoint, I'll pin it on this line, center back line. I'll pin it on center back line. This is the notch, center front. I'll pin this part on this notch, center front line. Center front line. So I'll go and stitch it. I'll stitch the collar. What I'll do next is to stitch these two together, the lining and the main fabric. If you want to fix shoulder pad, you can fix shoulder pad, but I'm not going to fix shoulder pad on this. She doesn't want shoulder pad. This is the right side of the fabric. This is the color. The color will be this way. This is the same. This is the color. This is the lining. This is the right side. I'll put it this way, right side together. I'll stitch the neckline, the collar, the main fabric, and the lining together. Center back line, the notch, midpoint, and center back line. The notch on this part, so you will stitch it from this point to this end. You will match the notch. So after that, you will stitch the lower part. You will stitch the lower part using half inch seam allowance. You will match the lines, size seam, center back, you will match it, you will stitch the lower part. After stitching the lower part, you will now stitch these two sides from the upper part. You will stitch it from the upper part. Using the seam allowance that you have. I have half inch. I will stitch it with half inch seam allowance. Why you will stitch this side from the upper part is because the lining is shorter than the main fabric. You can stitch it from the lower part. If you stitch it from the upper part, you will get it right. You will do the same on this side. I've stitched the lining and the main fabric together. At the upper part, lower part, and the two sides. I also notch it. What I'll do next is to fix the sleeve at the wrist, the lining and the main fabric. So, if, if you want, you will leave space here, like 6 inches space at the lower part here, so that you bring it out from there. Because at the moment, everywhere is closed, but I opened a little bit space here. So, if you want, you can leave a space here, opening here, so that you can bring it out from there, or you can open one side. To bring it out i opened like six inches on this side so that i'll bring it out from here after sewing i will use needle and thread to stitch it back invisible stitches before you stitch this back you will cross check your measurement 
to make sure that it's okay. Or if it's yours, you can put it on to see how it is. To see if you can adjust something or if it's okay. So if it's okay, you will close this part. Anytime you want to adjust something, you will open this part and bring it out from here. So now I'm going to bring it out. This is the jacket. What I'll do next is to fix the lining and the sleeve together. I'll bring it out from here. This is the lining. This is the sleeve. I'll stitch it together. This is the wrong side. I'll pin it. This is the size seam. This is the size seam. I'll put it this way. Right side together. I'll go and stitch it this way. I will do the same on this side. I'll bring the lining out. The sleeve. The size seam together, size seam together, I'll fold it this way. This is the wrong side of the fabric, so this is the right side. The right side is inside, the right side. I'll pin it. So I'll go and stitch it. I'll fix it. What I'll do next is to bring it out. I'll push it inside. I'll bring it out from here, from the outside. I'll bring it from outside. This is the sleeve. What I'll do next is to close this part. You will check all your measurements to make sure that it's okay. Or if it's yours, you can wear it to see if you don't want to adjust anything. If not, you will use needle and thread to close this part. Invisible stitches. Or if you want, you can use machine and hold it and sew it very tiny. Anytime you want to adjust something, you will open this part and bring it out from this part. What I'll do next is to fix the button, then I'll put it on the mannequin.
Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.